three of my favorite players that ever come out of Los Angeles, California is Raymond Lewis, John Williams, and Shea Khan. Growing up, Shea Cotton was the ultimate ball player at our age bracket. I remember, you know, getting ready and knowing that I was going to go watch Shea Cotton that night. Shea Cotton with the finish. Cotton on the drive. Cotton with a big slam. But I think he had the potential to be like one of the greatest to ever play the game. And from the time that he was a seventh, eighth, you know, ninth grade, he was the number one player in the country, didn't matter what class he was in. Cotton for the slam! Shea pulls up for three, got it! Shea for the highlight reel! I only wanted to be the best. I wasn't concerned with who the competition was. You didn't have any doubt that this guy was going to play at the next level and the level beyond. The legend is about how beast he was as an athlete. If I had to compare Shea Cotton's game to somebody in the NBA today, I would have to say LeBron. You compare him to, uh, to LeBron. LeBron James before there ever was a LeBron James. He was like LeBron before LeBron. A young phenom like LeBron. LeBron James before LeBron James. But before LeBron James, it was a Shea Cotton. During the, the playoffs, high loud for Shea. Oh! I'm sure there was so many different outside pressures that it kind of took away from his joy. When you, when you get things handed to you at such a young age, it's hard. Because you, you feel like you have everything already. What else do I need to work for? I'm, I'm good enough. He kind of indirectly, indirectly pushed everybody to become, you know, the players that they are in the NBA. I mean, it's it's kind of like you just don't know what happened, how we got off the path. Why is he not in the NBA? I still to this day don't know. And for those of you who wondered, hmm, Whatever happened to Shea Cotton, don't worry about him. He's doing just fine.